Welcome to the Hank Cisco Show, ladies and gentlemen. We're down here at the Five Saint Distillery, and uh, we're going to go in and take a tour. We're going to talk to the boss. We're going to talk to some policemen. We're going to talk to firemen, and it's a great place. You know, a lot of memories, and I couldn't believe that years ago, horse uh, firemen rode the horse and wagons out here in the same place. So we're going to go inside and tour and talk to some of the people and also the owner. So. Come on, let's go. Let's enjoy this. A new something new in Narstown. New Narstown's on the move. Okay, here we go. Follow me. Right here at Five Saints, former firehouse, humane firehouse at the corner of, of Main and Green Street, Norristown, Pennsylvania. Now, the owner is here and went through a lot of work to put this thing together. This was a firehouse, I guess it's one of the oldest firehouse, and we're going to take a tour and we're going to show you what this firehouse looks like from the inside and we try to talk about memories and they're all here and I want to introduce you to the man that put this all together gonna to make Narstown move forward and I'm gonna turn it over to him so he can tell me what this is all about why five saints I know St. Anthony I named St. Joseph I know St. Uh, I got all the saints so uh, I'm going to bless you, Father, Son, all right. Now, here he is now. You tell me who you are and what you do and how did you do this? <laughs> very, very carefully. So, Hank, thanks I'm a lot. Go ahead. Thank you. So I'm John Robert George, as you know, and uh, the five saints that we're talking about, and I think I introduced this in our very last segment, are my dad and his brothers, his three brothers, and then Giovanni Lorenzoni, who were five guys who were like five fathers to me. And what Five Saints Distilling is all about is celebrating the, what, what family represents, community commitment and quality. Uh, you know, giving back to the community, honoring your commitments, producing a quality spirits, quality interactions with people, and then celebrating family. So you're at Five Saints Distilling and International Spirits. As Hank said, right on, on Green and East Main Street, we're sitting in the tasting room, make, which is also... We make vodka here, we make white whiskey here. All of our equipment gets dedicated to making one product at a time. We're a small batch, handcrafted distillery, which means I am the distiller. I lose, I've lost 10 pounds in the past three weeks right distilling. Here. My wife loves it. Keep on distilling, she says. So essentially, uh, yes, we've made vodka and that's in the background here, the white label. And then you have the white whiskey. Well, Take us for a tour uh, with John, John Doyle from Narcon High School. Yep. The teacher, and he's a director of his uh, TV show. So uh, uh, I want you to tell us all about upstairs and also about you got a pole where they slide down. But you know the only pole around now is the one where the girls slide down and they show their butt. But uh, but here we have firemen. Okay. And, can, and can, we, can we can we say that on television? Down. <laughs> you want to slide down? The only butts that are sliding down are firemen's. <laughs> and uh, essentially, yes, we do have a pole, and we can show you that. So I don't know if you want to walk around, and we'll start. So come on with me, guys. Let's take a tour. I'll bring the wire. So here we are in the distilling portion of Five Saints Distilling. And uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to where it all starts. We're a grain-to-glass distillery. Come with me. Which means that we get the grain. And we basically go from there so that it ends up as a spirit in your glass here at Five Saints Distilling International Spirits. So here we are. This is corn. We get corn. Give us a close up of this. This is dried. We get it from Bill Beam Farms. First thing we do is we grind it. We put it in our hammer mill. We grind it up and then we auger it into our cooker. Everybody has a steam cooker at home. Well, this is a steam cooker as well. It's not pressurized, but it's a steam cooker. We'll bring that steam, that corn, 1,100 pounds of corn, about 
Uh, 1,500 liters of water for making vodka will bring it up to 100 degrees centigrade. And, and for those scientists out there, Fahrenheit-wise, that's almost boiling point. That's around 200, a little short of 210 where, where, degrees. Where, where did these come from? These came from, that's a good question, uh, Hank. These came from Carl Distilling Company in Germany. Carl is one of the oldest distillery manufacturers in the world, and it is quality material. It's uh, it, 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 in fact, we just got Ray over here, the other distilling tank, and it makes great products. Of course, I like to think the distiller has a lot to do with it, <laughs> but if you have good pots and pans to start with, you're going to end up with a good product. So, Did you have any question. problems uh, coming over? They got on the wrong ship or something? No, no wrong ships, just a slow ship. Ray over here, one of the fermenters, we've been waiting for a little over two years for him, but he finally arrived yesterday and we got him in. Um, you know, the usual customs brokers, all that kind of thing came in a big tractor trailer. And thank God we have our lift over here, which we could lift it off of the, uh, off of the tractor trailer and basically put it in here and get it into place. It's all custom made for, for Five Saints. Uh, you know, you have the uh, vodka and you make uh, the vodka drinks, right? What are some of the drinks? Oh my gosh, we, we've got so many. It's, <laughs> martinis come right off. They're the ones that come yeah. right to my... But we've got two that are really going... I mean, all of them are doing well, but two that stick out are the Moscow Mule, which is ginger brew, vodka, and lime. Or you can do the American Mule, which is white whiskey, which is our other product right now, uh, ginger brew, and lime. And then we have the Rooftop Lemonade, which is vodka, lemonade, and cucumbers. Awesome, refreshing, etc. So we're standing next to this tank right here. One of the things that we could do is I could ask the cameraman to actually go up and you can see fermentation and process. This is a white whiskey. You wanna go up on the ladder and, 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 and uh, here, I'll lift the lid for you. What you're gonna see there, folks, is fermentation of white whiskey. This is a, uh, almost a 2,000 liter batch that we, we installed yesterday. And what you see there, the bubbling is carbon dioxide coming on and that's the fermentation process. That'll last for about five days, five to six days, at which time we'll then pump it over to Giovanni, our still over here. That's beautiful. And we'll do what I commented on earlier is the stripping runs, where we basically strip off everything except the water, yeast, and, and, uns and, and, and spent uh, grains, and then we'll redistill those, depending on uh, whether it is vodka or white whiskey the number of times. So, Time-intensive effort, a lot of time, energy, and resources. It's a very inefficient process, a lot of energy used, a lot of energy wasted. We'll refine it as we go, but that's distilling. You're, you're heating it, and then you're cooling it. You're adding water, and then you're taking water out. So it's, it's, a, it's an interesting process. Wait Thank a you. minute. You know, one thing about vodka sauce, in Italian, we make vodka sauce. <laughs> we get vodka, and it's the tomatoes, and uh, they put a little vodka in there, a little uh, heavy cream, and it comes out beautiful. And they call it vodka sauce. And you put that on the spaghetti while it's hot, and it absorbs in the spaghetti, and you manja manja. Okay, folks, I gotta cancel this interview. I gotta go, I'm hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, just like our spirits, which are made in small batches and handcrafted, so is our popcorn. Here's our small batch handcrafted popcorn maker which we will be making popcorn for you. Handmade, small batch, premium quality popcorn to enjoy with our premium specialty spirits. Thanks. So you are now in the great room of the Five Saints restaurant and lounge. Essentially, the room that you're in right now was a meeting room on the second floor. And while you're looking at all the memorabilia that was left to us by the Humane Fire Engine Company, know that this will be a bar in a restaurant. It'll be, I think, Northern Italian to be determined. But it's something that obviously you can see we need to do some work. We're in the process. We have to put sprinklers in and we also have to put a secondary egress. But once we get to that, this will go quickly and everybody can mange, as we say in Italian, or Hank would say, have some of that vodka sauce. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a firehouse, the former humane firehouse. And what do you think you find in a firehouse? You find firemen. So. Here we got a fireman. Tell him who you are. Get the microphone. Hey, Hank. Right close talk. Go ahead. All right. Hey, Tell Hank. Tell who you are and what this is all about. My name is Rich Gockhart. I'm the fire marshal for the municipality of Norristown. And we're down here at Five Stains Distillery that bought, uh, it's at the property of the former Humane Fire Engine Company here on East Main Street. Yeah. Do you, you remember anything about this place? Well, yeah. Back in the day, it had uh, 
dates all the way back to when they had the steam engines and horses and ran out of here and then over the years they, had they horses here. Oh yeah. Way back in the day, right? Smell the manure. <laughs> <laughs> and so, look, up there later, we're gonna, are you going to slide down there? No, I'm not going to slide down the pole. we got to slide down. I think, Hank, I think you we need to slide down the pole. to slide down? Maybe the girl over there. She's got it all right there. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, my pole sliding days are long gone. <laughs> Let me tell you. Well, that's, that's a young man's job. This is a great uh, tribute to the fire. Oh, absolutely. Here in what they've Town. done in here, they've really preserved the history of the Norristown Fire Department. And just not the humane, but the entire fire department. They have a lot of nice uh, old historical pieces they maintained in here and the different things that are on the, the walls. Right. Well, we're so happy that the fire department's 100% behind this. All right, so let me introduce you to, as I say, Mr. Jenkins and the boys, and that's in a very respectful manner. This is a uh, portrait, uh, a gallery, if you want to call it that, of many of the volunteer firefighters from the past. Obviously, we need to clean it up a little bit. It was tucked away near a window and some birds got to it. But the gentleman in the middle is Mr. Jenkins, so I say hello to Mr. Jenkins quite often, and the boys. Now, there are some folks, some of you historians may uh, recognize. Here's a Adam Scheid, if you remember Scheid Brewing. Here's Adam Scheid, he was one of the volunteers. <coughs> Notice all the mustaches, I think mustaches were in back then. Makes me want to grow one. Um, and I have befriended these guys in a sense of, I was told and I've learned that, you know, in a, th that the firehouse is haunted in a good way. And what I mean by that is you'll hear footsteps every once in a while. The people that used to sleep here, the firefighters would say, oh gosh, we heard, fire, we, we heard footsteps. The other thing is there's a picture downstairs. I straighten it at night, it's crooked in the morning. I straighten it at night, it's crooked in the morning. And we'll go down and take a look at that as we go. But anyways, here's the, here's the guys. They actually paid to be volunteers. There's more pictures here. These will be on display. And uh, again, there's a lot of history. Firehouses, we're in the third floor right now. It's really hot up here. But just give it a scan around. You can see the space that we have available. And we're talking about having uh, theater productions here, events for uh, weddings, wedding reception parties, corporate events, etc. You'll be able to go to the second floor, have a drink, ha eat your meal, come back up, do your corporate event, go back down at night, have cocktails, listen to music, relax, etc. So that's us coming to you from the third floor of the uh, Five Saints Distilling. All right, guys, we put Norristown on the map. Typically, you see New York, New York. Well, we've got Norristown, PA time zones. We also got Dublin for their Irish whiskey. Mumbai, you would guess for what? Bombay, right, gin. Moscow for vodka. Singapore, this is a tough one, the long bar of Singapore, and then Shanghai for all our friends in China who are eagerly awaiting our product. Uh, listen, you've seen a little bit here. For more information, go to our website. You can sign up for tours. We're offering them on Saturdays. Groups of 10, we limit it to groups of 10. Every hour and 15 minutes, we'll have a, a tour. As part of your admission fee, you'll get a free tasting. We'll spend a lot more time about both the humane, where we've been, where we're going, the distillation process, the equipment, and, and you'll become part of the ever-growing uh, Five Saints friends and family. See you then. Um, especially on a hot day, a lot of people have been enjoying some Moscow Mules, which go in these copper mugs, keeps them cool, uh, makes it really authentic. And that's made of ginger beer, our uh, triple distilled vodka and lime juice, as well as rooftop lemonade. People have been loving that. Um, martinis, Cosmos, I mean, really everything on the menu, but especially Moscow and American Mules, which is just the whiskey-based um, Moscow Mule. Okay, so I was asked to explain the difference between white whiskey and vodka. So what you see here is the vodka and the white whiskey down here. You notice the, the, the similarity of branding, the Five Saints, the Flying Still, so that folks can recognize, oh, we love the vodka. Guess what? We got a white whiskey out. So what is the difference between the two? The vodka is 100% Pennsylvania yellow number two corn, which we use a special yeast. We control the fermentation temperatures. We triple distill the vodka. So we put it through uh, 20 plates three times. It's a lot of distillation. And we go low and we go slow. We take our time, essentially. And the result is a very smooth and flavorful, fantastic, premium, handcrafted, small batch vodka. The white whiskey, on the other hand, is 75% corn, 
and 25% rye. The reason we add the 25% rye is to give it that spiciness that otherwise it might not have. We also, we use a different yeast. Again, we control the fermentation temperatures and we add a special distillation at the end. Since white whiskey is called white whiskey because it doesn't touch a barrel, we want to smooth it out a little bit. So I run it through the column, I do a little special distillation, and the result is a very smooth, but yet bold and spicy white whiskey that I think you're gonna really enjoy. So again, small batch handcrafted white whiskey to complement our small batch handcrafted vodka, both premium spirits from your local distillery, Five Saints Distilling. Enjoy, guys. Oh, and let us know how you're, sh how you're spending time with Five Saints and friends. Send your pictures in the bottle and your friends enjoying. Take care. Now, tell them who you are. Uh, I'm Officer Christopher Narkin, Northtown Police Department. And you're with the Northtown Police Department? Mm -hmm. Yes. K9. K9, oh. he, oops, sorry. That's <laughs> Hello there. His name is Nero. Hello there, Rock. I mean, I like it, but don't knock me down. I'm an old man, 92 years old. Don't pull down. Okay, now, go ahead. His name is his, his name his name is Nero. Nero. Is that huh? Nero? N e r o. Yes. Does that mean he likes me? Yeah, he's he's a good dog. He's okay. He's Rock, very take social. it easy on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how long you been a fireman? I'm a policeman since 1997. Oh, I mean a policeman. What what happened here? The policeman there. That dog. That dog. <laughs> you messed me up. You know you you know. You want to say something? Okay. All right. Okay, all right. What's your name? Huh? Okay. All right, his name is Nero. Yes. Is he Italian? No, There's an O in the end of the end. German Shepherd, and he was uh, born German in Shepherd. Illinois. Hey, German Shepherd, we had to take him in the back. I got all the mere distilleries over there with uh, uh, that came from Germany. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, Nero. Adios, amigos. Um, so for first-timers, we offer them free samples, right? of our white whiskey and our vodka, which go in here. And they mosey on in, um, they ask for recommendations, we have nice snacks set out, and then they can sit in the lounge chairs if they want, but um, it's great, you know, it's a really relaxed mood, it's nice ambiance, and it's, it's, yeah, it's really been great so far, so. You know, meeting interesting people, that's what I like about Norristown, the diversity. We have all nationalities, religions, and everything to come on here, and we have, one of the top guys from the county, he was in the planning. And the planning had a lot to do with what comes into the county, what comes into the town, and they help out. So I'm glad that you come down here to visit. Now, tell me who you are and what you do, and hold the microphone. Hold All right. Go ahead. Thank you. you yes, hi. I'm Matt Shelley. I work with the planning commission at the county. Uh, you said I'm one of the top dogs of the county. No, I'm one of the foot soldiers, sure, though. Don't worry about All right. the top guy. <laughs> You're my man. Yes. So, uh, and I've come to love the uh, distillery here because I think it's uh, a great, uh, great place to uh, meet people and talk to people and get to know Norristown people as well as uh, support the local businesses. Yeah, in other words, if, if somebody wants to come in with a business in, in Norristown, Planning Commission, assist them, help. Tell me something about it. Tell me your operation. Sure. So um, the County Planning Commission, uh, we work with uh, the borough of Norristown, the, the municipality of Norristown, uh, to provide them planning services, uh, which includes, among other things, some economic development uh, um, plans or advice. Help them with funding mm -hmm. and all this, uh, things out there to help them. Well, the Planning Commission uh, has a few grant uh, opportunities for Norristown and the other municipalities in the county. Well, that's great to hear. Well, look, thanks a lot. So here, right, thank you. have this my drink. Get one over there, okay? Right. Thank you. Uh, is there any hey, boss, this is great. Now, I want to know what hours you work, and then I understand certain days you're going to have food here. Sandwiches, Italian sandwiches, Irish sandwiches, firemen's sandwiches, police sandwiches, and Goombati sandwiches, okay? So this is going to be a place, a good place to come over and meet some new people, okay? So we got to find an Irish deli, a German deli, a police well, deli, a fireman's I, deli, a Goombati deli. I, I was born in Ireland, Coney Island. But uh, no, we'll get back to this. But tell me now. All right, so hours that I work. Time to come. You got so, well, your first question is hours that I work. I've been working about 20 hours a day. I know. So I'm down here distilling, cooking, cleaning. Right 
installing equipment. Jay's been putting in some rough hours as well. But you know what? It's a labor of love. But when are we open for the public to enjoy the fruits of our labor, our premium handcrafted vodka and white whiskey? So Mondays and Tuesdays were technically closed. But what that means is we'll still have the window open. We'll say... <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hail to St. Anthony. So on Mondays and Tuesdays, while we're technically closed, we have the window open. You can always buy, you can buy bottles here. So you can walk in, give us a call. Uh, just holler at the window. We'll sell you a bottle, one bottle or a case. Anytime we're open, you can buy bottles here, uh, the white whiskey or the vodka. Now, what are our hours for the bar and retail, uh, or for the bar, the drinking of spirits, is Wednesdays, we, Wednesdays and Thursdays, 5 to 10 p.m. Fridays, 4 to 11. Saturdays, noon to 11. And Sundays, 1 to 7. So again, hours of operation, it's on our website and it's on our Facebook page. 5 to 10, Wednesdays and Thursdays. 4 to 11 on Fridays. Noon to 11 on Saturdays and 1 to 7 on Sundays. But anytime we're open, you can buy bottles for off-site consumption. So there you go, Hank. So yeah, on the weekends, we're going to try to always arrange for food trucks or food. Uh, we're trying to get Willis Brothers uh, barbecue down here. So Willis Brothers, if you're listening to this, we need you down here. We want to taste some of that fantastic Norristown barbecue that you guys have become so famous for. My mouth is watering. And we got Greco Roman with great. Ah, the Greco Roman, yes, absolutely. Our friends at Greco Roman. We're working with um, Luz. Hopefully, we'll have a Luz night. I have to get down. Luz, if the brothers are listening, we're coming after you for Zeps on Wednesday nights. We want you to be here. What else? But you had to have vodka sauce with spaghetti, Madonna, and meatballs. been a pleasure to tour this beautiful building, how they maintain it, how they kept the history behind it. The Five Saints, you heard all about how it got its name and how they redevelop this or you know, renovate this, whatever you want to call it. But here we are and uh, the building is in good shape and we have policemen and firemen patrolling this whole area. So Norristown is a great place to be a good place to come and shop. It's a good place to, sh to worship. It's a good place to have a good time. So come down to the Five Saints and tour the place. And also, you can have a nice little uh, refreshing drink. So Five Saints, here in Norristown, Main and Green Street. Let's go, Norristown. On to victory, on to victory. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. <laughs>